With the new Disney movie Descendants 3 trending right now, it seemed like a good time to talk about one of the stars, Duff Cameron. If you didn't know, Duff plays Maul in the Descendants movies. I'm a huge Disney fan, but these movies I'm not as familiar with. From what I know, it's all about the teenage sons and daughters of Disney's most popular villain. The original release date was actually postponed due to the recent passing of actor Cameron Boyce, who was also one of the main characters in Descendants 3. That was undoubtedly really sad for everyone and of course for his fellow castmates like Duff. But today we won't really be talking about the movie or any of that. Duff, and no that wasn't her birth name, her given name was Chloe, has clearly changed a lot since her start as a Disney star. Born in 1996, Dove is 23 at the time of this recording. Although she's always been a pretty girl, she has made some changes over the past few years. These days, Dove has starred in plenty of TV and movie roles, is an Emmy Award winner, and is also a singer, both releasing music with Sony and starring in musicals, like her role as Cher in Clueless the Musical. Her Instagram following at the moment is over 29 million followers, so it's clear that the girl has a ton of fans. But like many child actors, she got her big start with Disney. Dove was best known for her dual role on the Disney show Live and Maddie. My Disney Channel days were back with Lizzie McGuire and That's So Raven, so I can't say that I've watched this one. But I do know that Dove played the role of both twins. Like most teen or Disney actresses, she was really cute and likable already, but looking at before and after photos, I think she had some work done to change her appearance a bit. It's actually pretty interesting because it seems like Dove did get cosmetic work done, but a lot of it started when she was still really really young like 14. You guys can let me know what you think after this video. What's going on guys and girls, my name is Kara and this series we've titled Before and After. Today we're going to focus on Dove, any cosmetic work she's had done, her body, and her overall transformation over the last few years. I've done other celebrity transformation videos including ones on Bella Thorne and Ariana Grande and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with what I think changed the most. Dove's face. Straight up, the girl looks like a doll, but it's hard not to wonder how much of it is actually natural. Looking at pictures of Dove as a child before she was acting, we can see that she had a larger nose. It was much more prominent than it is today, but when exactly did it start looking different? In a 2011 headshot when Dove was only like 15, her nose already looks way smaller on her face. It's also sleeker and there's no evidence of a bump on the nasal bridge. She was also just starting to act at this time, but her look already was changing. My guess is that she would have had to have an early nose drop. And having one this young means her parents would have ultimately made this decision whether or not it would happen. Interestingly enough, Dove's mom, Bonnie J. Wallace, has written a book called The Hollywood Parents Guide, Your Roadmap to Pursuing Your Child's Dream. Well, I can't say that I've read the book, but I do think a parent who's so passionate about their child reaching stardom wouldn't mind them getting a little nose job or plastic surgery here and there. Working down the face, the other part that I think makes a big difference in Dove's beauty transformation is her lips. Comparing pics from then and now, you can see how drastically her lips changed in size. Even when she was only 16, at times her lips seemed unusually puffy or not quite even looking. I'm really not sure when the fillers began, but that would be my best guess for her plumped up lips. Dove's lips are always looking extra full these days, but I think they suit her. Dove's cheeks also look a bit different, so there's always the possibility she's gotten other fillers in the face. Looking at pics of Dove from then and now, we can see her cheeks look fuller and more defined than before. It's also very possible that these changes came natural with maturing and losing baby fat. But this leads me to another speculation. Some have also suggested that Dove hasn't always had dimples in her cheeks which does look like the case from the last pic. Apparently there's a procedure to get artificial dimples, but I haven't heard of it much. I don't know if I believe this one though because it's hard to tell in pics unless she's smiling. Dove's dimples do look more noticeable in some pics though, but who knows. Dove also has a really pretty smile and although I don't see her smiling too often with her teeth, she has some nice ones. Since her smile is basically perfect, she may have gotten something done there which is common. If her teeth weren't always that nice, she may have had braces to make them so straight or even gotten veneers. Although I think that Dove's face can look pretty plastic at times and almost too perfect, I can't deny that the girl looks gorgeous. She hasn't admitted or opened up about getting any work done and keeps that on the DL, so there's no way of knowing for sure. But whatever changes the star has or hasn't made to her face over the last few years seems to be working for her. Moving on to Dove's body. Starting with the basics, as you can probably tell by looking at her, she's really petite. 
Standing at only 5 foot 2, she's also thin and looks like she obviously stays in shape. In the past, the star opened up about struggling with an eating disorder. I feel like that can be pretty common, especially in Hollywood. She told Stylecaster, I've never said this before, but I had such a bad case of anorexia. I was so badly down that hole. I was not eating for days sometimes, but it was because I thought I needed to be absolutely tiny to be loved. I genuinely thought I needed to be as skinny as I possibly could to be loved and appreciated and good enough. Deb went on to say that she's worked really hard to be healthy and happy. I would say that she's still really tiny anyways. Deva said that she does exercise to stay in shape and if she has more time in the morning she would do a bigger workout than just simply stretching. She's posted pics in the gym of course so we can assume that she does make time to go pretty often. Dove has also shared a little bit of her workout prepping for Descendants 3 via Twitter which was 20 minute Stairmaster level 10, 20 minute bike level 8, 10 minute elliptical level 10 out of 10, 10 minutes of body weight, booty work, and lots of water. And that sounds like a lot of cardio. Another relevant subject seems to be Dove's boobs. Firstly, there has always been speculation that she's gotten implants. Looking at pics though, it would seem that she has always had a nice set, especially for her body type. Sometimes they look fuller, but it's definitely possible with either push-ups or from simply gaining a couple of pounds. When fans have asked in the past on Twitter about them, Dove has said that it's no secret that they're C-cups, and also said, I've had C's since I was 14. It's just a body. I let it do its thing. So that's Dove saying, there's nothing to speculate about and she's all natural. However, she just posted on her Instagram recently some Borales selfies that are getting some attention. She posted them with quotes about female empowerment. So obviously there is some back and forth opinions in the comment section and people talking. I'm less concerned with whether it's polite to post a pic in a see-through shirt and more concerned about if Dove's boobs are fake or not. Honestly, she convinced me that they were natural until I saw these pictures. I'll let you guys be the judge. Dove's look in general has evolved a lot since her early Disney days. Although I think she's always had an innocent girly look, she's changed from more of the girl next door to super glamorous. Dove has always been blonde for the most part, but she used to have more of a golden blonde look when she was younger. She's had a lighter platinum blonde color for a while now, and it's become a signature of hers. I think this shade suits her the best. She also has collaborated with the popular hair extension brand Bellamy for her own line of extension. Dove has said she always uses their extensions, whether it's tape-ins, clip-ins, or other types, which would explain the perfect length she has. Another one of Dove's beauty trademarks seems to be her flawless skin. Although she obviously looks great when she's all done up, I think she looks equally pretty without makeup and most would agree. Dove has said her secrets to nice skin are pretty simple. She hydrates a lot, so drinking a ton of water and eating healthy. In terms of her routine, she cleanses both in the AM and PM and moisturizes like crazy. Going makeup free is also something she does often, but she says she wasn't always comfortable. Dove has told Tiger Beat Magazine a few years back when they asked if she was always confident going out barefaced. Definitely not. I wore a lot of makeup during school, but there was also part of me that really wanted to wear makeup all the time because I felt like I wasn't beautiful underneath it. Well, it seems like Dove has grown up and come a long way. Looking at Dove's transformation from her Disney Channel beginnings in Live in Maddie to how she is today, we can see how much she's grown up. She was always cute and talented, but in her early 20s now, she seems to have found her signature look and style. Although Dove hasn't opened up about getting any cosmetic work done, it seems obvious that she's had a few changes that were less than natural. That's Hollywood. I'd like to know if you guys think she's had work done or not, so feel free to leave your opinions, whatever they may be. Seeing as she's only 23, I'm pretty sure we will only see bigger things from Dove in the future. Whatever the girl has done with her look, I think she looks flawless. So I'm going to be reading out a few comments you guys left on our last vids. This one was from our before and after video on Misha Barton. Eve Ye said, Almost better, she looks better without makeup. She has a natural stunning beauty. Her weight is normal. Metabolism changes. A lot of girls are much skinnier in their 20s. So I agree that Misha has a natural beauty and it's true about weight and metabolism changes. I'm just glad she's back on TV again. On our before and after video of Farah Abraham, Anne said, Hooker. Well, and I hope you're referring to Farah and not me because that's a little bit offensive. 
This one is from Angela Mansongol on our video of Bella Hadid before and after. And she said, don't you actually have anything to talk about other than people's faces? Well, Angela, that's kind of the point of these before and after videos if you haven't noticed. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on before and after. If you want to talk more about Dove's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.